Hi, my name is Lindsay Davis. I'm the Instruction and Outreach Librarian. And this is Elizabeth Salmon. I'm the Research Services Librarian. In this Zoom recording, Elizabeth and I are going to cover the new modules that the librarians created in Canvas for the Spark seminars. We'll cover a little bit about the background of how we developed these, an overview of the modules that are available, and Elizabeth will also cover um, what these modules actually look like, so a little bit about their structure, and she'll also share with you how you're able to import these into CAT courses. So during the summer of 2018, the librarians were having some conversations about how to best support the new Spark seminars, and our discussion centered on a few questions. Um, a couple of these were, how can we support brand new first year students in courses centered around inquiry that have a research component? And then what are some of the very basics, the very foundational library knowledge that students need to have in order to successfully complete, say, a research paper? Um, so we got together and using instructional design principles, we um, created a series of it's seven different modules. Students don't have to complete them all. You can kind of mix and match. Um, and using Canvas, we found that, they, that these uh, modules that we created, they were, they're really easy to import into Canvas. And it's also very easy for students to complete these as homework assignments. Each module ranges between five to 12 minutes, but the majority of the modules range between five and eight minutes. We also assigned a very low point value to the modules to help encourage students to complete these in advance of completing their research assignment. So here you'll notice on the screen that I'm in the librarian's dashboard where we created the modules. So I'm gonna click on library instruction resources and here's where you can see the list of the different modules. We have accessing information, understanding databases, finding and selecting databases, evaluating information, searching for information, working with information, and finally finding statistics and data. And so what you're seeing on this page right now is an instance of our library instruction resources course. And so when you bring these modules into your CAT courses page, they're going to look just as they appear here. Now, like Lindsay said, you can mix and match, so you don't have to bring all seven over. When you go to import, you'll be importing the modules over individually. Once they are in your course, you will then have the opportunity to edit them as you see fit. Um, if you want to address uh, excuse me, adjust the point value, you can do that as well. Now, the way that we have these structured, and I'm just going to go into the first one here uh, about the VPN, is we begin each module by introducing some outcomes. So at the end of completing this module, in this one in particular, students will understand why the VPN is needed, how to connect to the VPN, and then also how to get help. After the outcomes, we provide just a brief overview of the concept or skill that we're introducing. So we have some text here, and then we have some information for setting up and connecting. And then when you click on next, you're going to be brought to a page that has a quiz that's just a simple check for understanding. And so the point value is associated with how many questions are in that particular quiz. So we typically have point values of four or five. We can preview the quiz just by clicking on preview. And you can see that these are just some multiple choice questions directly related to the information that was provided on the previous page. And so in some of the other modules, the quizzes are also multiple choice. You might have some true and false yes or no questions as well. So again, not all the content might be re may be relevant for your class. Um, the learning activities are listed in a sequence, but of course, depending on your curriculum, you'll be able to adjust as needed. So with all of our modules, we shared these to the Canvas Commons. And if you're not familiar with the Commons, the Commons is a platform within Canvas that allows instructors to share the pages, the quizzes, and other learning um, objects that they created within Canvas. You can get to the comments two different ways. If you're on a home page within a course, you can just go over to the right hand side and use this first option for importing from comments. Or you can just make the selection from the left hand menu as well. They take you to the same place. 
So after making that selection, Canvas will load all of its learning objects. So right now we're seeing over 55,000 results. If you go over to filter and then scroll to the bottom, you can change this selection to see just resources that have been shared by faculty or instructors here at University of California Merced. And so that dramatically reduces the number of results that we're seeing. So right now we have 16 results. You'll see some of our modules here from the library. Now, all of our modules have been tagged with information literacy, UC Merced library and other descriptors relating to the content. I think the easiest way to see our modules is by typing library into the search bar. And then I'm already searching and I have our seven modules right here. And you can see the librarian that uploaded them and the last time these were updated. If I go into just the first one for understanding databases, uh, there's a brief description at the top and then there's a list of the content in each module. Now you really won't get to see the content in full until you import it into your course. If this looks like something you are interested in importing, you would go over to the right side. You could bring it into all your courses or you would select which course you want to bring this module into. So I can make my selection and then I have the option to complete the process by clicking on import into course. This process might take a few minutes, so don't worry if things aren't imported immediately. Now, I'm just going to go back into our course. Once you import your modules in, you'll be able to find them under the module heading on this side. So this is the same as what we have set as our current homepage. Now, once these are brought in, uh, in order to edit, you can go over to the three vertical ellipses and you'll have some options over here. Some of this is just formatting, so the way that this will appear to your students. But if you did want to, say, get rid of an, a learning activity or a check for understanding, you can go to these three dots and then just click remove. In order to edit content, you would want to click on the title itself. And then you can go up to the edit button at the top click that, and then you can go in and make changes. Now, any edits that you make will be to the local module on your course, so you won't actually be editing the modules that have been shared to the commons. I had mentioned before that you can change the point value assigned to the quiz, so I would then go to into our quiz and again click on the edit button. And at this point, I scroll down a little bit, and what I would want to change is the quiz type. So right now, this is a graded quiz, but I could also change this to an ungraded survey if you just wanted to know, have my students completed this or not. In addition to the Canvas modules, the Research and Learning Services librarians offer also offer other instructional support. So to find this kind of the kind of um, services that we provide, you would want to navigate to the UC Merced Library homepage. And on the homepage, there's a tab called Research and Academics. And you want to scroll down to where it says Library Instruction Services. And here on this web page, you can read a little bit about the services that we provide. So we provide in-person instruction, and you'll see here with our face-to-face -face instruction menu, there's a variety of different options. To request in-person instruction, you'd also want to click on online form. And at this point, when you log in, it will ask for your UCM Net ID. And on that form, you would list, you know, some potential dates, maybe some of the learning outcomes that you would like for us to work with. And if you scroll down, you can also see other things. For example, we have some other do-it-yourself video tutorials. Um, and if you scroll down a little bit more, there's also the possibility to create a custom research guide for your course as well. And finally, if you have more questions or would like to learn more about our, our instructional services or would like to collaborate a little bit more, if we scroll down to the bottom of this web page, you'll find the library instruction email address. So we just click on there and shoot us an email and we're more than happy to help. Good luck this semester. Bye-bye.